Hey you guys, welcome back to At Home Cooking. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this pretzel salad dessert, which by the way is extremely delicious, so brace yourself. This one is a fan favorite, that buttery pretzel crust balanced with that sweet cream cheese and jello, ugh, it's a hit y'all. With the simplest of ingredients, you can have one of the best summertime desserts for those beloved summertime cookouts right on your table. So stick around and I'll show you how I make my pretzel salad dessert right at home. So to get things started, I already have my jello right here, which we will get to in a moment. I also have some water. I had started boiling because I feel like we all know how to boil water, right? Right, hold that thought. So we need two cups of boiling water for our jello. Also, please only boil two cups of water when making this recipe. Do not follow the directions on the jello box, please. And here I was actually a cup short of water. I let it boil too long before turning on the camera and some of the water evaporated. So I had to go back in and bring one more cup to a boil and add that to my already one cup that I had. So frustrating. All specific ingredients and measurements will be mentioned for you in the description box below, so please make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now that we're all caught up and have our required cups of boiling water, we are going to add in our strawberry flavored jello to our boiling water. We're gonna mix that until it's nicely dissolved and we will set that to the side and allow it to cool to room temp. Now it is time to smash these pretzels in this here Ziploc bag with whatever you have in your possession that can crush up your pretzels. Here I am using a beautiful baseball bat. I, I mean, I am using a wooden rolling pin, people, okay? <laughs> you also want to make sure that you are measuring your pretzels before you smash them. Here I have two and a half cups of extra thin pretzels, which, 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 I strongly recommend for this recipe that you use a 12 ounce bag of mini whole pretzels, mini. I grabbed the wrong kind of pretzels, twice when I went to my local oldies and I was just, ugh. So <laughs> I just did what I had to do to finish the recipe, to finish the video. I didn't let it stop me. But at the end of this, I ended up having to grab seven cups total of the pretzels before I smashed them to achieve the amount of pretzel crust. But if you do it the right way, you get mini pretzels, you will only need to use two and a half cups of the mini pretzels. Now onto our butter, y'all. I have completely fallen in love with butter. It is so bad. To our pan that we have over medium heat, we are melting down eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once your butter has melted down, we will add in one fourth cup of sugar and mix until dissolved. Once that sugar is nicely dissolved into your butter, you're just gonna go ahead and pour that mixture right over your pretzels and with a spatula, you're going to toss the pretzels and just make sure that they are nicely coated with your butter and sugar mix. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. In a 13 by nine casserole dish, you will want to pour out and evenly press out your pretzel mix into your first layer. Place that in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for just 10 minutes to allow that first layer to firm up. While that's in the oven, onto our strawberries, which we are going to haul and slice. I start by removing the, it's pronounced calyx, calyx which is just a little green leaf atop so you can see, or so I can see where I am cutting. I do this to eliminate waste, obviously. And with a small paring knife, I'm going to cut in a circular motion around the pale flesh, removing the center white piece, which I find at times to be a little bit bitter. And then I am going to slice the strawberries. Hauling strawberries removes the less than desirable parts of the berry, making sliced berries appear more elegant once they are mixed in and set up in the jello. As you are finishing up those berries, your pretzel should actually be done at this point. So we will set that aside and allow it to cool to room temperature. The reason we wanna let this cool is because when we go in with our cream cheese layer, we do not want to melt our cream cheese and turn it into a soupy hot mess. We just don't want that. 
to our now cooled jello, we are going to add in our beautifully hauled and sliced strawberries. Mix that up very nicely and set that aside. Now to pull out my dearest friend, Lee O Sten Mixer. I am going to add to the Sten Mixing Bowl eight ounces of softened to room temp cream cheese. Beat that on a medium speed just to start to break it up. And then I will add in a half a cup of sugar and cream that together until a light and fluffy texture is developed. Now that our cream cheese and sugar have been creamed together, we will fold in an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. Fold that in until all appearances of white streaks are gone. Now that our cream cheese is streak free and the crust has cooled, we are going to spread our cream cheese mix over the crust and you want to make sure that you are thoroughly pressing down and spreading all the way to the edges to create a tight seal. I found it easy to use a rubber spatula because it's more flexible and will get into those corners nice and tight and create that tight seal I was talking about. All done with layer two, then we will move on to our clean plastic saran, whatever wrap. We're gonna place that on top tightly and place our dish in the refrigerator to firm up for 30 minutes. Before it goes in the refrigerator, obviously you wanna make sure you give it a little droppy drop action to get rid of any air pockets that are potentially hiding. After 30 minutes have passed, we are going to remove the plastic top and spread our strawberries and strawberry jello mix evenly over our chilled cream cheese layer. Now, I accidentally let my cream cheese sit in the refrigerator longer than the 30 minutes, so my jello did begin to set, but it is okay. It's going to set and become jello in the end anyways, right? Right. So no biggie. We are going to arrange our strawberries out so that we can see those beautiful slices that we mentioned earlier. Back in with our plastic wrap, we are going to rewrap the dish and place it back into the refrigerator and let it set for two to four hours if you want to eat it same day. But for best results overnight is going to be your best bet. Trust me, have some self-control, <laughs> hold out, okay? Next day always best if you're in a rush two to four hours should definitely do the trick all right new day new shirt as you can tell i was uh beyond excited like i said practice some self-control i did and i'm excited but first let us pray Dear Lord, thank you for this food that you've allowed me to prepare and eat. I ask that it be nourishing and keep me strong. In the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Something about this dessert just does it for me. I really enjoy the crust. I think that might be my favorite part. Uh, it's the butter and the sugar and the salt from the pretzel. They go so well together. And then the cream cheese and the jello layer is just like a nice extra touch of sweetness. I enjoy making this for my family. Hopefully this can be the highlight of your next cookout and I am not off to share this one. Absolutely not this time. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel for more fun and easy recipes. Until next time.